I hired maids to come clean my room. As a Roblox streamer, my room cleaning. I hired maids to come clean my room. As a Roblox streamer, my room gets really messy sometimes. So I decided to finally hire some maids. This is before the cleaning. They even brought their own vacuum. That'll be helpful. They're already hard at work. She's doing a great job of cleaning my room. They did make me pay extra because they said it was very messy. However, I'm finally getting rid of this chair. So if you're driving by my house and you see this on the street, go ahead and pick it up. It's all yours. My bathroom's all clean now. Look at this. They even got rid of that little orange circle in my toilet. I kind of want it back though. I might purposefully create. I hired maids to come clean my room. As a Roblox streamer. My hygiene routine as a Roblox streamer. Today is hygiene day. Normally, I don't do hygiene today. I usually only do it on Saturdays. But as you may know, today is a special day. It is the FNAF movie premiere day. Ignore the stain on my jeans. I spilled ketchup. I got this towel that I used to wipe up my dog's pee. I only used it once, so it's dry now. Should be good to use. Also, someone dissed me for putting it on the toilet seat, but nobody sits on the toilet seat, so it's clean. What's the problem? Anyway, take out these rubber bands for my braces. Got to swap them out sometimes. Anyway, boom. I'm now clean. Squeaky clean, you could say. Um, I've got my best fit on now for the movie. I'm so ready. I got the suit pants, and I got my best button-up shirt. I am ready to get scared. I was going to brush my teeth, but I decided I can only push so many limits. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave brushing to just Saturdays for now. So, anyway, bye. My high Cleaning up my gaming room after a week of gaming. This chicken noodle soup has formed into a solid mass. I'm going to have to take that down before my parents see it. Um, unfortunately, I will be beat for those stained lines. My rats are looking really cute today. Taking down some of these plates like the Alfredo. And I don't know what this is called. Maybe like jambalaya or gumbo. Anyway, it's already looking a lot better. We've gotten a lot of the bulk out of the way. Um, this coffee was not looking too appetizing, so I went ahead and uh, took it down. Found some leftover Denny's. I think the syrup spilled. I don't know how that happened. This coffee looked fuzzy. That's a no drinker. Anyway, guys, I'm still selling this chair, by the way. Uh, I am serious about this. DM for serious offers, please. Um, it sits good. It's comfy. Uh, we got this McDonald's bag filled up with stuff, and I'll be taking it down. Now we've got two bags that are all finished and full. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later! Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. First, I get started with the bed stand. This is where I have all my waters for my daily hydration. As you can see, it's cleaned up. I'm getting the floor clean now. Still got a long way to go. I then grab the vacuum after picking up most everything. Still got some stuff on the side to tidy up. And now my Roblox streams are ready to resume. I love Roblox. I love Roblox. I love Roblox. Cleaning my room. Cleaning my room, part two. I'm a Roblox streamer, and my room gets really messy. Look at that milk. That's not very good. Found a free bag of chips, and they're not even expired yet. This is the best day ever. Gotta get these trash bags. This milk, don't don't lean over. It does not smell very good. I don't know why. I poured some coke in it to try to make it smell better. Found my nail clippers, too. Look how bad my nails get when I don't have nail clippers, and I use my fingers. It really hurts. I don't like it very much. Anyway, bringing the dishes down. Got some trash bags filled up. This smells really bad. I don't know what this is. I think it was coffee at one point, but now it's like a syrup. Look at these coffees. Some of them look bad, some look good. I think it's based on how long they've been there. This looks like syrup too. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of the cup. I might have to throw it away. 
Anyway, got the rest of the trash bags. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Don't forget to wash your hands after cleaning your room. It's very good for your hygiene. Anyway, thanks for watching. I shaved my eyebrows. Bye. Cleaning underneath my bed as a Roblox streamer. We had a roach infestation recently, and I found a roach underneath my bed. Got you, you little bugger. He laid eggs on me. That's weird. Anyway, my glue trap is nice and filled. Got a spider in it, too. I should have made him a pet. I forgot to do my homework, but luckily I use Pixolve. It helps me with all of my hardest problems, even the word ones in science and history. So water is the answer for that. I found some crackers on the floor, which is pretty cool. But the roach eggs kind of made it salty, which I didn't like. Cleaning underneath my bed as a Roblox streamer. We had a roach infest. I just got a trash can for my room. My roach infestation has gotten pretty bad. Someone said it's because I left food out, but they eat plants, so I don't get it. But I got my trash can anyway. And yeah, guys, my chair is dirty, but don't worry. I don't use it anymore. I have this chair. My closet's a little messy. I need to clean it up, but I'm a little too tired. It's really hard. My crunchy socks have been like protein for the roaches, I think, but I'm going to clean those up eventually. Underneath my bed could definitely get cleaned up too. And I have these dark stains on my wall. I think it's for my feet. Does anybody know how to get those off? I would appreciate it. Anyway, I used my trash can. I feel very clean. Thank you. I just got a trash can. How I stay young and healthy as a Roblox streamer. First, when I wake up, I kill any pesty roaches that were trying to eat my leftover dinner. That's so mean. But I got my pizza back. Then... I like to go to Starbucks. What's wrong with my car? Does anybody know? I think it's fine, though. I listen to Polo G. He's the goat. Grab me some Marachan spicy ramen noodles. This really gets me going. I think the salt really helps maintain a salty diet, which is good for you. I eat two because one's just not enough. Boil the water, pour it in, and after three minutes, voila, it's good to go. Isn't that delicious? Then I like to just put it down. I'll take it down later when I need to. Then I grab myself a Dr. Pepper Mini. These are really healthy compared to the original size. Grab me some organic batana oil. Put it in my hair and scalp to help my hair growth. Thanks, Dr. Truth. Looks so much better. They tell me to rinse it out, but I'm okay. Then I kill more roaches that are trying to crawl on my feet. How I stay young. Hey guys, Pal and V here. I got a room update for you guys. I may have been a little lazy recently. My friend came over, and you can see his gaming setup's a little messy. Um, I also was eating some snacks that I kind of forgot to take down. Um, we had a 12-pack of Dr. Peppers, so that's why you see a lot of those. There's a little hamburger. But, you know, honestly, guys, it's still better than it was. Um, my pet rat's looking adorable. He really inspires me to just do my best. Hey guys, Pal and V here. I got a room update for you guys. I may have been a little lazy recently. My friend came over, and you can see his gaming setup's a little messy. Um, I also was eating some snacks that I kind of forgot to take down. Um, we had a 12-pack of Dr. Peppers, so that's why you see a lot of those. There's a little hamburger. But, you know, honestly, guys, it's still better than it was. Um, my pet rat's looking adorable. He really inspires me to just do my best. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take down these bed sheets. But look at these roaches in the bathroom. They've really come back. I'm kind of not sure what we can do about them. You can see me pointing out all these roaches and roach pieces. Also, guys, I am selling this chair. Let me know if you'd be interested in buying it. Um, you can't even tell if you cover it. It looks brand new, aside from the bottom. But you can't even feel it when you're sitting. So the room's looking a lot better now that i got those bed sheets out. It opens up a lot of space. So thanks for watching, guys. I love Roblox, and I love you. Because cockroaches eat a wide range of food, including rotting garbage, it is believed that they spread a number of diseases to humans including salmonella and gastroenteritis. Recent studies have indicated cockroaches can also cause allergies.
The good news is that cockroach bites don't actually transmit any diseases and they're also non-venomous. Cockroach Because cockroaches eat a wide range of food, including rotting garbage, it is believed that they spread a number of diseases to humans including salmonella and gastroenteritis. Recent studies have indicated cockroaches can also cause allergies. The good news is that cockroach bites don't actually transmit any diseases and they're also non-venomous. Cockroaches, however, are filthy creatures and good carriers of infections. They can transmit disease-causing bacteria, viruses, and allergens through bite wounds through feces, saliva, and vomit. Besides being able to transmit diseases, the presence of cockroaches can cause allergic reactions, sneezing, watery eyes, nasal congestion, headaches, etc., that are found even more frequently in people with asthma. Cockroaches are omnivores that eat plants and meat. They have been recorded to eat human flesh of both the living and the dead, although they are more likely to take a bite of fingernails, eyelashes, feet and hands. The bites may cause irritation, lesions and swelling. Some have suffered from minor wound infections. Cockroaches can spread harmful bacteria while inside your home that can lead to serious stomach issues. The legs of a cockroach, for example, have spines sensitive to touch and provide a very large surface area to pick up pathogens. Anything a cockroach touches or rubs may then become contaminated. Can cockroaches bite you in your sleep? Being nocturnal creatures, cockroaches are more likely to bite you at night especially while you are sleeping. However, they do appear in the daytime, when this happens, it could mean your premise is undergoing a heavy cockroach infestation where they are in need of food supplies. Cockroach eggs are small and oval-shaped. They are typically brown or black in color and are found in groups of up to 40 eggs. The female cockroach will lay her eggs in a dark, secluded place where they will be safe from harm. Cockroaches have long been considered one of the vilest and most disgusting insects. These pests are known to spread disease, contaminate food, and trigger allergies in sensitive individuals. However, recent studies have suggested that cockroaches may also be capable of causing cancer. Cockroaches are known to host a variety of harmful bacteria, including E. coli and salmonella. These bacteria can cause severe gastrointestinal distress and even death in humans. However, Japanese researchers say that cockroaches may also be capable of hosting a more insidious form of bacteria, Helicobacter pylori 1 that increases the risk of getting stomach cancer. Cleaning the dust out of my computer. I stream Roblox so it gets really dusty from playing so much. 
So I unplug everything, and we go ahead and take the external SSD off. Look at that dust print. Look how dusty it is. That's so weird. Anyway, put it on the floor, and I found these little oranges while I was doing that. They're hard as rock. It seems they've dried out from sitting out in my room. Isn't that interesting? I think I'm going to keep them as collectibles. They're like petrified oranges. They're rock solid, and they sound crunchy. Anyway, pull out the dustpan from the computer. This has a little bit of a wad, but I'm just going to leave it. It's really not that bad, and I think it'll like help filter more. It's like an extra filter. Take the hood off, and we're going to go ahead and look under the hood inside of the computer here. And it's also looking pretty good. Just some dust on the fans. Nothing to worry about. I don't have an, I don't have like a compressed air or anything, so I just blew on it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put the screen back on. You don't want that glass falling down. That stuff's hard to replace. So we got the top and the front here. I'm going to go ahead and take this top dust filter off. Look at that square print. I'm going to use the carpet as a sponge. It just soaks up all the dust perfectly. Nothing to worry about. Now the front. Go ahead and pop that off. And it fell down. Now you can probably see a lot of the dust floating around. I had to turn the fan on. It was getting kind of hard to breathe. My throat was itching a lot. But we're about done. Looks great. A lot of the dust is off. A lot of cleared up. Temperature should be good. Thanks for watching. See you around. Cleaning the dust out of my computer. I stream Roblox. So Cleaning my room because a roach crawled on me while I was sleeping. This was not a comfortable way to wake up in the morning. I woke up with a roach on my arm. Look at this ramen. Have you guys ever seen ramen look like this? Why did it have so many colors? Anyway, I got a trash bag. I'm headed upstairs. I've decided that if I can't clean it up this time, I will be hiring a maid. So stay tuned. If I can't clean, I'll be getting a maid. Look at this hot dog. How does this still look so good? I honestly am going to take a bite out of this. This is something tried growing in here. Not on my watch. As you guys know, I do not let things grow on my watch. So this looks pretty good. I got the mocha coffee right here. What is that? It looks like a rug. I wonder if it tastes good. Is this edible? Anyway, I got something sticky on my fingers and that kind of like ruined my day. So I think I'm done picking stuff up. I tied up the trash bag. Now I'm going to go ahead and just here's the overview of the room. It's all right. I probably need to get a maid though. So yeah, stay tuned for next time. I'm going to be getting a maid, which sucks because I don't have any money, but I'll have a clean room. Cleaning my room because a roach crawl. My hygiene routine as a roach. Why I wear only four shirts a month. As you may know, I only shower on Saturdays. So of course, I'm only going to change my shirt on Saturdays. Now, as you can see, my closet's a bit of a mess. I have a bag full of aspen pine that I use for my rat's bedding. So with that in the way, how am I ever going to get clothes out of here? It's just not efficient. So, I ordered some new shirts from Goofy at Tees. Thanks for sending me these shirt, guys. Look, certified baller. Bop, bop, bop. I love Roblox. Anyway, they also sent me this one. POV chest day. Because I don't like the gym. I do not like working out. So being mad about the gym just really fits my personality. Grr, I hate working out. It fits me too well, actually. Born to poop, forced to wipe. See... I am Saul Goodman because I'm evil, and I also don't like to wipe because I have a hairy rear end and it usually takes an entire roll of toilet paper, to be frank. So, thanks Goofy Atsies for sending the shirts. Now, I do have maids coming to clean my room pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. It'll be a pretty good time. Why I wear only four shirts a month. As you may know, I only shower on Saturday. Cleaning my carpets so the roaches have nothing else to eat. I keep finding roaches in my room. They crawl out from under my bed. And I think they're coming out to eat the stains on the carpet. That right there, that is puke. That's, that's, that's got to get cleaned up too. My brother threw a party and someone threw up on my floor and I just never cleaned it. So it kind of just dried up and crusted. So I don't really have any carpet cleaner and I don't want to pay for cleaners. So I know you're supposed to like pat stuff down when it you first spill it. So I figure if I just get it, get it wet again, I can just dab it then. So I got the I got the stains wet, the big ones, and I'm gonna put the shirt down and I'm gonna pat it down a little bit just to try and get some of the staining out. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry up for a little bit and then I'll move it around and dab some more, maybe some more water. So I don't know what to do about this one though. This thing is like rock solid. I don't know what it was. I think I might have stepped on a ketchup packet. So that's kind of bad and it made my fingers sticky. Anyway, guys, 
Stop saying my carpet's dirty. It's pretty much good now, so, you know, see ya. While cleaning my room yesterday, you might have seen that I found a rat. At first, I was a little scared, but he seemed pretty chill, even though he pooped on me twice. So I decided to buy him a cage. But then, I found out online that they need a friend, so I bought him another rat. Aren't they cute? While cleaning my room yesterday, you might have seen that I... Roach check. Today I'm going to be counting how many roaches I have in my room. So of course we have the rats, and the rats have been eating a lot of roaches since I introduced them to my habitat. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight roaches on that towel. One, two right there. There's another roach right there. And then we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen on this side. Oh, ten on the top. Or twenty. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and I'm sure there's more under the bottle cap, so we'll just call it an even 30. Also, I did spill coffee all over my keyboard. This broke my heart. As you guys know, I've had this keyboard for a long time, and I actually did get a little emotional. It's hard to say goodbye to an old friend. Um, I don't really have any friends, so this was a big deal for me, but, you know, I replaced it, so it's fine. Who cares? How many times do you cycle the clothes? Like, would you wear, like, a shirt, like, two weeks straight? Usually if I shower. But jeans, I'll wear these for, like, the whole fucking year. Okay, that's fair, though, Chad. The only time that's I switch hard. out, the only yeah. time I wash my jeans is if, like, the rats shit on them or something. But Chad, actually, that's not, that's not nasty, true, bro. because these have rat shit on them, and I haven't... Even bro. when I went to high school, I dead ass wore the same jeans, like, for the whole year. That's something I agree with. Bro, what about shirts? Like, shirts once a week. Or twice yeah, a week. Yeah, yeah, once nah, a week. Once a week. Yeah, once a week. On Twice shower a week day. Is, and then okay, underwear, yeah. like, monthly. Oh, nah. You're using the same underwear after you take a shower, bro? Yeah, they're basically always wet. Like, yeah, it's wet right now. Because, like, I go pee, I sweat. It's always wet down there. What about, like, when you shit and stuff? You, you like, wipe properly? There's, like, is there shit? Yeah, like, I wipe. Shit? Sometimes if I'm, like, chilling, I'll start to feel my butthole itch. I'll go wipe and some more poop will come out. But, like, I'm good. And I'll, I'll change it if I, sh like, shart. I shart, like, once every, like, two months. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I actually do, like, shit myself a lot. What's the most, like, what's the favorite thing in your room? Like, the most prized thing in your room right now? It's a sword. Wait, that shit real, like, that, yeah. like, that shit will cut me? Oh, what yeah. the, where, so, where you got that shit from? I don't know. They make sword replicas. It's from uh, Game of Thrones. How many times do you cycle the clothes? Like, would you wear, like, a shirt, like, two weeks straight? Usually if I shower. My room's a mess and my life is falling apart at the seams. <laughs> so, first I keep spilling coffees all over my carpet. And then this rotten milk, I spilled it on my carpet on accident trying to get into bed. I'm on an 8 loss streak in League of Legends, which is by far the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I tried to go to the bathroom. And look, no toilet paper. I just had to suck it up and not use it. It was the worst thing ever. Also, I can't even take my weekly shower because I keep waking up in the PM. Showers in the PM are not showers at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and start trying to fix my life. I'm taking this down because my room has started to smell like rotten milk. And if it's bad enough that I can smell it, that's a bad sign. It spilled on me, so that was really gross too. Anyway, worst thing of all is my parents made me clean my bed sheets. So they don't even smell like me anymore. They just smell like sheets, which isn't very good when you're trying to go to sleep. Keep me in your thoughts. My room's a mess and my life is falling apart at the seams. <laughs> so first I keep spilling. Asking friends and family how many likes to cut my hair. How many likes to cut my hair? 75,000. It's a little low. Uh, I'm going to go with 70,000. 70, all right, sister, how many likes to cut my hair? 
600,000. Still a little low. I think we can go higher. To cut your hair? 20,000 likes, buddy. How many likes to cut my hair? 7 million. 7 million. A little high. All right, listen, buddy. If you get one like, I want you to cut all that hair off. All of it. Gone. One like. One. One like to cut your hair, bro. It's time for a fucking change. You need to fix your life. One like. Just one. I think if the video gets 72 likes, you should cut off your hair. Probably like three inches. Because that's a lot. If this video gets 69,000 likes, you have to get the R9 cut. <laughs> After taking everyone's input super seriously, if this video gets 1 million likes, I will buzz all of my hair off. Cleaning my room because we hit 100,000 followers. Yippee! This is the best day ever. So we're going to clean up a lot of this room. Ignore the dead roaches on that towel right there. They're kind of yucky, but I, I have to wipe them somewhere when I kill them. Yippee! A hundred thousand! So let me go ahead and grab a trash bag because we're doing a good cleaning today. You guys have been waiting for this. You always say, how is your room? Still messy. So I open up the trash bag. I scared the rats a little, but they're okay. Anyway, the desk, as you can see, I do keep the desk clear, guys. You don't got to worry about my gaming. The desk clear. It's all, it's all on the sides. I just put it down. Um, so here's some of the bowls we got to take down. These are kind of yucky. Uh, ooh, wait, that looks kind of good, though. Anyway, snap. It's a lot cleaner now. I picked up a lot. I don't know where that stain came from. I spilled this coffee, I think. I think I tripped on it the other night. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. I got my trash bag filled up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this bad boy downstairs. But the bad news is it's raining outside. This was the worst thing to happen to me. It was very wet and cold. But 100,000 followers worth cleaning my room because cleaning my room because my mom made me after she gave me some sass cleaning my room because my mom made me after she gave me some sass about my room being dirty I decided I'd clean it up or she might kick me out so I got some Vienna sausage and some ramen to snack on to give me nutrients got some of this trash out that's an old enchilada that is some ramen, and this is some salmon. Salmon does make your room smell, so it's good to take it down soon. This stain, I tried my best, but I couldn't get out. Looks like the coffee is here to stay. This banana's got to get taken down. I used my finger to, like, lick it up like pudding, and it just wasn't very good. This Twix has to be thrown out. It's just no good anymore. These Takis that I guess I didn't finish got to go, too. This Coke, which I don't know why I didn't finish. I love Coke. Anyway, this sandwich was too hard on my teeth. My teeth are pretty soft. I have brittle teeth. So that was no good. Oops. Um, my roach trap is doing good. That little bean-shaped thing is an egg sac. So you can see all the babies came out of it. Um, not all of them got in the glue trap, though. So I got to look out for those. But anyway, we're about done cleaning. I got most of the left side cleaned up. Looks good. The right side, I'm going to have to clean up another time. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just, you know, it's a lot of work. So the desk is also, I took a lot of the stuff off. So we're looking good. Thanks for watching me clean my room, guys. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, stop calling my mom hot. Thanks. Cleaning my room because my top five favorite roaches that I found in my gaming room. Starting us off at number five is this little fella who watched Star Wars with me. Number four has to be this guy who I found underneath my toaster oven. I did have to annihilate him with my Thor power fingers, but it's okay. I was still miss him. This little guy is number three. He was so energetic and lively. He was really fun to play around with. Found him in my bathroom. A special honor is this guy who died. Um, rest in peace, the goat. I don't know what killed him, but that sucks. Uh, next up will be number two. It's going to be this guy who is trying to drink my coffee, which I just think is so cool. I would love to share a coffee with him. And number one is my dear beloved Albert. Albert did, in fact, become one of my favorite roaches of all time. I put him in a little bottle, gave him a nut, some water, and I had him for a few days. We became really good friends. I even took him on some walks. I put a leash on the on the bottle, and we went around. We explored the world together. Unfortunately, he did uh, he did escape, um, but I still miss him. My top five favorite roach. I just got a new pet roach. I'm not kidding, guys. I saw this little guy crawling on my desk, and at first I was gonna smush him, but I realized he was so cute. 
So what I had to do was catch him. First things first, though, I kind of knocked over my monitor trying to catch him, and that caused me to spill some coffee. Uh-oh, that doesn't look too good now, does it? Unfortunately, I don't have any carpet cleaner, so I'm probably just going to have to live with it. Um, honestly, guys, it doesn't look that good. Looks like, you know, something bad happened, but it's okay. I have worse stains. But look at him. He's so cute. He is a guy based on my limited research, so let me know what I should name him. We'll be naming him in the next video, and I'm going to be getting him a cage and a proper setup. I want him to live his best life. I really think he's adorable, and I can't wait to grow and create a bond with him, really. Eventually, I'll get brave enough to hold him, but you guys stay tuned for that one. I'm just a little too scared of him right now. But he's so cute, and I can't wait to play with him. I'm going to teach him all sorts of tricks. I can't wait. Also, I know what you're thinking. He needs food. Don't worry. I put a peanut in there. I'll be putting some water in later. This guy is going to live his best life as my new pet. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Going to the gym so I can impress the ladies. As you can see, I'm starting off in a good place. I went ahead and went to my local gym place, and I got right to it. First off, I had 45-pound weights on this, and I wasn't able to lift them up. No matter how hard I tried, they wouldn't even budge. So I decided maybe this wasn't for me. I tried out the bar. My friend told me this is usually where people start off, so I went for it. Now, this really hurt my back. And I don't know how I'm supposed to lift this. I think I have to work my way up a different way. It really hurt, and I couldn't really sit straight after that. So I just went ahead and got on this little bike thing. Played some Clash of Clans on it. Um, but like I said, as the other ones, it just didn't feel very good. Made my heart kind of hurt. So my review of the gym, guys, is it's not worth it. There's better ways to get girls. This place just isn't the move. Um, you could just be playing League instead, you know? Going to the It's Saturday shower day. That's right. It's time for the weekly shower, boys. Let's get it. First, I gotta get the silverfish that spawned in my bathtub out. It's the real thing from Minecraft. They do bite you though, so I didn't touch it. But I got the towel off my floor. I used this last time. It's dry now, so it's good to go. Put it on the toilet. It's a good spot to grab it. Do you guys see any roaches? Because I don't. That's right. The rats have been doing a good trick. Now look how clean I am. I did not like the shower, but you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Look at this milk. I'm going to turn it into butter one day. Y'all just wait. I'm churning and churning. Also, guys, reminder, this chair is still up for sale. $70. Houston pickup only. Serious offers only. Anyway, for the boys, I got to talk to y'all about the beard. I'm 21 years old, and this is the best I can do. A lot of you guys say I need more tea, but I have maximum testosterone. Thank you very much. So, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'm just gonna, like, go to sleep. It's Saturday shower day. That's right. So you may remember, right, Drama Alert posted a video of my TikTok cleaning my room, my Instagram reel too, and there were, like, a uh, Roblox streamer cleaning her room. Roblox streamer showing off her room yet again. He did it again. Keemstar. Please, my brother, this is the old one, her. I said, Keemstar, I am not a girl. 10 million views saying that I'm a girl. Keemstar, bro, this isn't funny anymore, bro. If you do it again, I will be suing, okay? I've got lawyers, okay? I've got rat lawyers, too. Like, I got all types of lawyers, okay? My, my, my dad owns Microsoft, too. If you, if you call me a girl again, we're going to have problems, okay? I know, look. You gotta stop doing this to me. My Twitter account is not big enough. Okay, I say I'm not a girl. It gets two views. Keemstar, please. My brother, please. I'll be watching. So you may remember, right? Drama Alert posted a video of my TikTok. My room is a mess, and my McDonald's was missing items. Today might be the worst day of all time. Look at my McDonald's order. I paid $20 for this, and that includes the $2 tip that I graciously added. Now, I've got my little burrito here, but where's the picante sauce? I know what you're thinking. Well, where's the picante? I took a deep look. I looked around. 
There's no picante sauce, guys. I don't even know what to say. This is a letdown. So I took it downstairs. I thought maybe my mom would eat it, but she didn't want it either. So I don't know. I took it back upstairs. Uh, I put it back down, even though I got to take it down later. I forgot. Um, my rats peed in my bed, but don't worry. It doesn't smell. It's all good. Um, so I found this coffee trying to grow in my room, but not on my watch. I'm not going to allow that. Come on. Anyway, I took the cereal down. I forgot the coffee. I'll get it later. My parents will do the dishes. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm time. It's I, I'm just ready to get on league. Okay, today's been a mess. My picante ruined my day. I'm getting on League of Legends. So, you know, I'm signing off. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go grind top lane. After getting back from Vegas, hanging out with Chief Keef, I jump into bed. I'm exhausted, but I remembered. Uh oh. It's 7.22 p.m. on a Sunday, but everybody knows that Saturdays are for showers. So I grab my towel, run straight up the stairs, and begin my weekly hygiene routine. Now, of course, this begins straight away with brushing my teeth. A lot of you guys were mad that a roach died on this brush, but I washed it. Don't worry. Now, I'm going to close the toilet. I like to put my towel right there. I stepped on a roach. Little bugger trying to get away. How dare he? Anyway... I'm looking ready. I'm looking good. Look how good my hair looks before. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the water on. It's nice and hot. Look, when I shook my towel after getting out, pizza fell out. I think the pizza was stuck to the towel and made it through the washer and dryer. Is this, is this real? Anyway, time to clean my glasses. They're pretty crusty. So I give them a little clean, little wipe down. Looking so good now. Thank you. My dog Sapphire is looking beautiful. Isn't she such a queen? Comment down below if you think Sapphire is a queen. She is so cool. And my cat, Freedom. He's so chill. He was born on July 4th. That's why his name's Freedom. Also, rat update. I got them an igloo because I... After getting back from Vegas... Exposure to molds can lead to symptoms such as stuffy nose, wheezing, and red or itchy eyes, or skin. Some people, such as those with allergies to molds or with asthma, may have more intense reactions. A mold allergy can cause coughing, itchy eyes and other symptoms that make you miserable. In some people, a mold allergy is linked to asthma and exposure causes restricted breathing and other airway symptoms. Molds can also cause asthma attacks in people with asthma who are allergic to mold. In addition, mold exposure can irritate the eyes, skin, nose, throat, and lungs of both mold-allergic and non-allergic people. Exposure to molds can lead to symptoms such as stuffy nose, wheezing and red or itchy eyes or skin. Some people, such as those with allergies to molds or with asthma, may have more intense reactions. A mold allergy can cause coughing, itchy eyes and other symptoms that make you miserable. In some people, a mold allergy is linked to asthma and exposure causes restricted breathing and other airway symptoms. Molds can also cause asthma attacks in people with asthma who are allergic to mold. In addition, mold exposure can irritate the eye, skin, nose, throat, and lungs of both mold-allergic and non-allergic people. Symptoms other than the allergic and irritant types are not commonly reported as a result of inhaling mold. If you have a mold allergy, your immune system thinks certain mold spores are invaders or allergens. So, when you inhale spores, your body reacts by triggering sneezing or nasal congestion. This can happen immediately or after exposure, depending on your body. Because of the risks that come with mold exposure, it can be unsafe to sleep in a house with mold.
particularly in the affected areas, because you put yourself at risk of mold allergies. This becomes especially concerning if you are sensitive to the mold. When mold grows indoors, it can often be found in the bathroom. View source like insomnia, snoring, and excessive daytime sleepiness. Another study of nearly 5-0 adults found that people who reported mold odors at home also reported higher rates of sleep disturbances. View source. In addition, indoor molds are a known cause of allergic rhinitis. Can mold make my family sick? Exposure to mold can cause health effects in some people. Mold spores are always found in the air we breathe, but extensive mold contamination may cause health problems. Breathing mold can cause allergic and respiratory symptoms. When mold spores are inhaled, immune system cells surround and destroy them. But people who have a weakened immune system from illness or immunosuppressant medications have fewer infection-fighting cells. This allows aspergillus to take hold, invading the lungs and, in the most serious cases, other parts of the body. If you have a mold allergy, your immune system overreacts when you breathe in mold spores. A mold allergy can cause coughing, itchy eyes, and other symptoms that make you miserable. In some people, a mold allergy is linked to asthma and exposure, causes restricted breathing and other airway symptoms. If you have a mold allergy, the best defense is to reduce your exposure to the types of mold that cause your reaction. Medications can help keep mold allergy reactions under control. A mold allergy causes the same signs and symptoms that occur in other types of upper respiratory allergies. Signs and symptoms of allergic rhinitis caused by a mold allergy can include sneezing, runny or stuffy nose, cough and postnasal drip, itchy eyes, nose and throat, watery eyes, dry, scaly skin. Mold allergy symptoms vary. A mold allergy causes the same signs and symptoms that occur in other types of upper respiratory allergies. Signs and symptoms of allergic rhinitis caused by a mold allergy can include sneezing, runny or stuffy nose, cough and postnasal drip, itchy eyes, nose and throat, watery eyes. Dry, scaly skin mold allergy symptoms vary from person to person and range from mild to sev. Re, you might have year-round symptoms or symptoms that flare up only during certain times of the year. R. You might notice symptoms when the weather is damp or when you're in indoor or outdoor spaces that have high concentrations of mold allergy and asthma. If you have a mold allergy and asthma, your asthma symptoms can be triggered by exposure to mold spores. In some people, exposure to certain molds can cause a severe asthma attack. Signs and symptoms of asthma include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, when to see a doctor if you have a stuffy nose, sneezing, watery eyes, shortness of breath, wheezing, or other bothersome symptoms that persist. See your doctor. Causes like any allergy, mold allergy symptoms are triggered by an overly sensitive immune system response. When you inhale tiny airborne mold spores, your body recognizes them as foreign invaders and develops allergy-causing antibodies to fight them. Exposure to mold spores can cause a reaction right away or the reaction can be delayed. Various molds are common indoors and outdoors. Only certain kinds of mold cause allergies. Being allergic to one type of mold doesn't mean you'll be allergic to another. Some of the most common molds that cause allergies include Alternaria, Aspergillus, Cladosporium, and Penicillium. Risk factors A number of factors can make you more likely to develop a mold allergy or worsen your mold allergy symptoms, including having a family history of allergies. If allergies and asthma run in your family, you're more likely to develop a mold allergy. Working in an occupation that exposes you to mold. Occupations where mold exposure can be high include farming, dairy work, logging, baking, millwork, carpentry, greenhouse work, winemaking, and furniture repair. Living in a house with high humidity. Having indoor humidity higher than 50% can increase mold in your home. Mold can grow virtually anywhere if the conditions are right. In basements, behind walls and framing, on soap-coated grout and other damp surfaces in carpet pads and in the carpet itself. Exposure to high levels of household mold can trigger mold allergy symptoms. Working or living in a building that's been exposed to excess moisture. Examples include leaky pipes, water seepage during rainstorms and flood damage. At some point, nearly every building has some kind of excessive moisture, which can encourage mold growth. Living in a house with poor ventilation, tight window and door seals can trap moisture indoors and prevent proper ventilation, creating ideal conditions for mold growth. Damp areas such as bathrooms, kitchens, and basements are most vulnerable.
Complications most allergic responses to mold involve hay fever type symptoms that can make you miserable but aren't serious. However, certain allergic conditions caused by mold are more severe. These include mold-induced asthma. In people allergic to mold, breathing in spores can trigger an asthma flare-up. If you have a mold allergy and asthma, be sure that you have an emergency plan in case of a severe asthma attack. Allergic fungal sinusitis. This results from an inflammatory reaction to fungus in the sinuses. Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. This reaction to fungus in the lungs can occur in people with asthma or cystic fibrosis. Hypersensitivity pneumonitis. This rare condition occurs when exposure to airborne particles such as mold spores causes lung inflammation. It can be triggered by exposure to allergy-causing dust at work. Other problems caused by mold besides allergens, mold can pose other health risks to susceptible people. For example, mold can cause infections of the skin or mucous membranes. Generally, however, mold doesn't cause systemic infections except for people with impaired immune systems, such as those who have HIV AIDS or who are taking immunosuppressant medication. Prevention to reduce mold growth in your home. Consider these tips. Eliminate sources of dampness in basements, such as pipe leaks or groundwater seepage. Use a dehumidifier in any area of your home that smells musty or damp. Keep your humidity levels below 50%. Remember to clean the collection bucket and condensation coils regularly. Use an air conditioner and consider installing central air conditioning with a high-efficiency particulate air HEPA filter attachment. The HEPA filter can trap mold spores from outdoor air before they're circulated inside your home. Change filters on your furnace and air conditioners regularly. Have forced air heating ducts inspected and, if necessary, cleaned. Be sure all bathrooms are properly ventilated and run the ventilation fan during a shower or bath and immediately after to dry the air. If you don't have a ventilation fan, open a window or door while you're showering or bathing. Don't carpet bathrooms and basements. Promote groundwater drainage away from your house by removing leaves and vegetation from around the foundation and cleaning out rain gutters frequently. Make sure the ground slopes away from the foundation. Keep organic plant containers clean and dry, such as those made of straw, wicker, or hemp. Toss or recycle old books and newspapers. If left in damp places, such as basements, they can quickly become moldy. Long-term mold exposure can cause severe issues that can last for a long period of time and may cause irreversible damage to the human body. So it is important to never ignore that bit of mold growing. Remember to check for mold and exterminate it. Don't get sick, guys. Also check and exterminate the cockroaches 11.